Morning, welcome. <laughs> New faces. So uh, people that haven't had this experience before, I'm going to give you a little information. Uh, but before I do, let me talk a little bit about um, clearings, what they really are. Because people, if you've never had a clearing and you don't know what it is, then it's just, what does that mean? Okay. So a clearing, literally, we're focusing on fathers this month. And what we do is clear out the energy that is not yours, that actually belongs to your dad. The first segment, which is today, and the second segment, segment, which is the 17th, are going to be a little bit different. The second segment is going to have more to do with things that come through your bloodline. What we're dealing with today are energies that directly come from your dad. So. I think everybody knows that you know we feel each other, we sense each other, we're constantly exchanging energy, but what you may not be aware of is that w when you're um, made, or how do you call it, when you're created, created. created. <laughs> <laughs> when you are created, the energy of your dad, doesn't matter what that is, doesn't matter if he was with your mom and totally adoring and loving her, or you know, was just this was just somebody he was interacting with, or this was even a, a violent experience, it doesn't matter. That energy of your dad also gets exchanged into your mother's energy field, but it also gets goes into the egg, the sperm, and all of that, and that energy begins to develop, but it, you're you're taking on the essence, the energy of your father. Okay, now sometimes you might think that's a good thing, sometimes you might not. I mean, everyone has a different relationship with their dad. Some, some people feel like their dad's really special and they really love him and their dad made them feel special. And other times there's abandonment, there's, there's uh, damage that's been done, there's rejections and there's judgments and all the different things that people experience with a dad. And your dad's energy, if you lived with your dad, you're going to have even more of his energy in your body, simply because when you're in the presence of anyone, any person, their emotional energy goes into your body. If they have a desire for you to be or act or think or something they want you to grow up to be or how they want you to behave or they want to protect you, keep you safe, all the different things that dads do there's an energy that literally gets pushed out of their bodies and goes into your body. Okay? It's no different than with you when you have friends or you have a beloved or you have a partner or you have a husband or a wife or even your own children. That feeling inside where you have a desire for them, where you want them to be a certain way or you want to protect them or you, th or you love them, there's an emotional energy that literally comes out of your body and enters into the child's body, or your friend's body, or your partner's body, okay? What people aren't aware of is that we're constantly pushing our energy into other people's bodies. The most common way that happens is when we have desire, or a want, or a need, and we can feel like a, like a little bit of a energy in the body. You can literally feel when you leave the energy, when you leave your body, you can feel it. We can, let's just play with that just for a moment so you'll know what I'm talking about. So right now, I want you to just to think about somebody that you really care about. I don't care who it is. Just think about someone you really, really, really love, really care about, want the best for them, okay? Now, I want you just to think about something that you'd like for them, something positive that you would want for them in, in their life, okay? Now, I want you to really, really, really want it for them. <laughs> When you do that, you're going to notice that in that feeling, you, you can kind of feel where you start to lean out of your body and there'll be a slight agitation in the core of your body because your energy is leaning out. Okay, you'll feel it. That desire, that want, that hope, that need, whatever that is, there's a leaning out. The moment you lean out, you're pushing your energy into their body. Sometimes you'll pull it back, but most of the time you won't pull it all back because you don't know what you're doing. You have no concept of what you're doing. Okay, now let's do it again, only this time. Keep your awareness 
inside your body. First, keep it behind your eyes. Okay, now take your awareness, feel it as though your eyes are looking right out from your heart center. Now, think of the same person. Feel the energy inside, the desire, the want, the hope, the need, whatever that feeling is. But keep your awareness in your body this time and notice now you can have the same desire, the same feelings, but you're not going to feel the agitation because you're not leaning out of your body. Okay? Your parents, your dad, whether he was with you or not, even if he died, there was still feelings that he had even before his death surrounding you unless he didn't know you existed. Okay, even that is going to be an energy in your body. You don't exist. You don't, you know, you're, you're unknown. So those that did grow up with dads in the house, they're going to get more and more and more because dads sometimes are passive and sometimes they're not, depending on who they are. And at the same time, you're going to get whatever your dad was sending to you, you're going to be bombarded with his energy and you're, it's going to be in your body and you are going to feel and think his thoughts, his feelings, his hopes, his dreams, all of him, whether you know it or not. Because that emotional energy, when it goes into your body, is no different than that person coming into you. Okay? So dad, whether he totally abandoned you, rejected you, or he smothered you, or he was a, you know, whatever kind of father he was, it doesn't matter. You're going to have dad energy in your body. Most people have no idea how we do this exchange of energy. Most of it's on the emotional level. The desire, the hope, the want, the need. When you have things that you want from somebody but you don't speak it, feel the agitation in your body. <laughs> it's kind of <laughs> it's kind of trippy because you can feel it. You know, it's like a, it's like this agitation. That's because you're leaning out. You're not going to have agitation if you maintain presence in your own physical body. Okay? I guarantee you your dad did not do that. He did not maintain his consciousness <laughs> inside of his body. Okay? <laughs> he may have been all over the place. Okay? His energy could have been really big or it could have been really small. We don't know. It doesn't matter. The bottom line is, is for you personally, you don't want anybody's energy in your body. You want sovereignty. You want you. Okay? But because parents are, you know, they're like, they're like the, the gods. They're the ones who gave us life. And like I said, it doesn't matter if you grew up with them. It doesn't matter if you never saw them. There's still an energy in your body. It'll be less than other things. You, what also happens for you as the child, the infant, is that desire to be loved and the desire to have a dad or to have father is a need. That emotional need will seek out seek out and find, is that that? Is that the one? Is that the father? Okay, and, and you can do it with your own dad, but you can also do it with other people that in some way felt like a father figure or some or unconsciously, they could have appeared like uh, physical um, characteristics. And we have a reaction, we have a, you know what I mean? Some, we see people and we react to them. You know that already, okay? It's a subconscious reacting to familiar. So when we need or want father, then we can literally be seeking and pulling other energies into us because we still want that father energy. We want that father love, that father connection, that father bond, okay? So clearing this energy out is what this is all about. And it does make a difference. It'll change a lot of your feelings and your thoughts and, and some of your reactions. It's, you, know, you never know how much, depending on how much energy is in your body, but guaranteed, you're going to feel different. Okay? I don't care how much work you've been doing all your life. I don't care how much therapy you've done or Reiki you've done or clearings you've done. If you haven't released at this level, you haven't released it. Okay? It gets anchored in, it gets seeded into your DNA, it gets into your bones, your blood, your organs. It seeps into who you are. So, we take it out, and it's an easy thing to do. Well, sort of, once you know how. <laughs> yeah, okay, so, to get the most out of the clearing, it isn't just about thinking about your dad. Okay, so when you think about your dad, part of the process is 
How does it make you feel? How do you remember your dad? If you, some people were adopted. I've had many people that, through the adoption process. So you're still gonna be dealing with the dad, if you had a dad that raised you, but we're also gonna be dealing with the paternal father because that energy is still seated in you, okay? So if you've been adopted, then it's more about, yes, you're gonna deal with the, the person that was your father in this incarnation, but you're also gonna let yourself sink into mm, the real paternal father. How do I really feel about that, okay? So when you let yourself feel this, just a little bit of an edge of emotion, it doesn't mean you gotta go into any kind of big process, it's not about that. All it is is let yourself be in touch with how does it make you feel? Like right now when you think about your dad, your father, everyone's gonna have a different feeling at this age. When you go back in time and think about your dad earlier in your life, you might remember it differently. Ultimately, when we go way, way back in the womb and in even as in infancy, there is a profound love for dad that kind of gets blocked and covered up by your experiences. Now, some people, it stays open. Some people really feel loved and cherished. Others don't. You know, it can, be, it can be emotional abuse. It can be feelings like your dad didn't care. He wasn't available, even though he may have been present in the house. So there's all kinds of unconscious beliefs running through you, misinterpretations mis, uh, of reality, meaning you draw conclusions about how your dad looks at you or how he speaks to you or how he interacts with you or if he abandons you. It, it anchors in all these beliefs around who you are. And that creates emotion, but you've drawn conclusions based on your interpretation, not on truth or reality, because you can't know truth or reality when you're a little tiny kid. Even as an adult, you're still misinterpreting people's actions, their, their voices, their, their visuals, how they look at you, their voice, all of that. So you're interpreting, you're constantly interpreting. And the more you, times you have, the more energy you have inside that has to do with feeling unworthy or feeling unloved, then you know, your, your reactions will be with that with all everyone you come in contact with, okay? So in the process of unraveling and unwinding father's energy, your dad's energy, we're gonna start with the top layers, meaning how do you, how do you think of him right now when you think of dad? Okay, then we're gonna start going back a little bit into earlier in your life and light more up. So when you feel into the emotion of the feeling, what happens for me is I literally see energy light up in your body. So whatever the emotions are that you have in connection and relationship to your dad, whatever they are, I guarantee you, you're gonna have more of that energy inside of you that is not your dad, that is not you, that has to do with entities, disincarnate beings, dead people. Straight up, it's friggin' dead people, okay? <laughs> now, they come into your body because there's a frequency that matches their energy. So whatever the, you have lived, whatever you've concluded, whatever, wherever you are, even though you, right now you might be in a really good space with your dad, if you haven't cleared the energy of the traumas or shocks or suffering or pain or grief or sand, any of those kind of energies, that doesn't just go away, okay? So you have collected other people have been drawn to you, the disincarnate people, to the frequency that you are emitting through your brain waves and drawing in other people that have the same experience, same kind of energy, same kind of feelings, experiences, okay? And that compounds your experience. It makes it more intense. It makes it more disruptive, traumatic, unless, of course, you have all the love. And usually love energy, usually ener energies that are filled with love, they go into the light. They're not gonna hang in this earth plane. So when, no matter what you've lived, you're gonna have even more trauma in your body based on the energy, the feelings that, that you experienced in childhood, early, early life. And not only that, but you'll have um, uh, interferences in your body 
those interferences do include things like perpetrator energies. That's another emotional energy. It's not an entity, but it's other emotional energy that's not yours. You may have dark force interference. If there's really negative dark, dark energies, dark feelings, uh, you know, more feelings like feeling, uh, and just that really, the feelings that cause pain, whether they go into a negative feeling of, of hatred to the black energies or into grief or despair, abandonment, loss, things of that nature, all of that energy is, is also bringing to you more, 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 okay? So there's also implants and there's also, um, like I said, the dark force energy, so there's interferences. And then also there's things from past lives. So we're going to be doing a little bit of clearing with past lives as well today. All right, so another thing that's really cool is you can call in different people. Like if you've got someone that you want to bring in or even a few people, I know Shelby, our, our, my assistant, is. I'm going to call her in, call her presence in. So if there's people that you would like to have present and have them have the clearing, you need to think of who they are, call them in, ask them to come in, okay? I'll see them. I'll literally see them start. You're already starting to do it. So, so you'll call them in and literally they'll be here. I mean, even though they, they may be across the world or another town, doesn't matter, their energy does present because you are asking and, and asking them to come into the room and be present. So they do show up. Okay, so you'll be calling people in if you would like. And then um, when, you're, when I'm asking you to think about dad and you start to let yourself feel that, remember that your first initial thought of your dad, let's just, let's just do a little get ready, okay? So right now, think about your dad in the moment right now that you know him. Even if he's passed, it doesn't matter, think about your dad. And then as you think about him, be aware of what that's feeling like in your body. How does it make you feel when you think of dad right now? Okay? All right, now, once you have that feeling, once you're aware of that feeling, I want you to go underneath that feeling. Go under it. Does that make sense? Okay? Be with that right there. The, the, as you be with a feeling, what happens is you're allowing, you're not moving away from a feeling. As you sit with that feeling and you have the intention to know what is underneath that feeling, then you will feel the next unconscious layer. Okay? So what we want is we want to go as deeply as you can into whatever that feeling is. So if you can go underneath even that next layer that you're finding, that will be even better. So you're feeling the different layers, so now you're at a certain layer. Now be with that just for a few moments. Just be with it. Allow it. Welcome it. Say yes to it. No pushing it away, no overriding it, no rising above it. Allowing. You want the truth of your feelings. You want to know what's in here. So you're saying yes, you're welcoming these feelings in. Okay, now as you get to that next layer, notice what that is. Is it feeling sad? Does it feel frustrated? Does it feel angry? Does it feel loving? Does it feel joyful? Does it feel painful? Does it hurt? Just notice, 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 and you're allowing, you're welcoming, 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 saying yes. Is it terrifying? Is it scary? Okay, you're just being with it, being with it, being with it, allowing, allowing. Now, let's see if you can go just a little bit deeper. So as you sit with that energy and you allow it, what happens is the energy, the feeling right underneath will start to present because you're not pushing it down. You're no longer pushing it down. You're saying yes to it. You're welcoming it. Okay, so this is all about no judgment, not right or wrong, good or bad. This is about clearing energy that's not you. It's not about anything other than that. And at the same time, you're going to feel some of the emotional energy in the body. Okay? So, with Dad's energy, I want to remind you so you can just be present with me now. And then we're going to go back to that. Once we start the clearing, that's what we're going to do. We're going to start going in, into the layers, under, under, under. Okay? But a little bit more information about fathers. Some of you are men. 
You have your experience, you know what you live. You may have children, you may not, but at the same time, you all had a dad, okay? So your dad's energy, just like your mom's energy, is going to push on you if, he's, if he was present. And his energy, his despair, his anguish, his pain, his suffering, his worry, his concerns, the energy also, as you know, it, throughout history, the males are the, are the prominent ones who went to war, to battle, that fought against other villages and clans and in the big, big fighting, okay? Uh, the Crusades, all these different things, the men were the ones who did this. Now, of course, you know, we all try to, men, we've, we've all been men before in different bodies, okay? But in that man role, there's something about being a protector. There's something about, you know, you're, there's, there's things you're supposed to be and supposed to do because it's expected of you. So you're not always out there. If you're terrified, you're not saying, oh, I'm terrified. That's the last thing you're going to do if you're on a battlefield, okay? So what's happening is you, the man, the male, the male has a lot of intense trauma, terror, horror, the things they have witnessed it. When we look at our guys, people that are coming back, male and female, mostly male, they're coming back with PTSD, extreme trauma, okay? They're witnessing things. What do you think is going to happen in their bodies? What do you think is going to get passed through their, their bodies into their children? Okay? So if we take it back, there have been heinous crimes against humanity done by male species. Not only male, but majority, okay? So all of that energy, even the heartlessness where they would torture people, okay, all of that energy does come through your energy field and it comes into your body. So sometimes there's experiences where you're feeling like afraid or, or you have reactions and you're going, where's that coming from? I've never had an experience. I, this is like totally unfamiliar to me. Why is this happening? Well, it's happening because it's come through the energies. It's come through your dad's. So every father has, has, that has a son or even a daughter, that energy can, can passes through and it passes through, it passes through. So your father, the one who gave you life, is also had energies that also got passed through to you that have nothing to do with you. Absolutely nothing. Okay? So we want these things out of your body. 